guys, so we're right here in Chaparral Hall, also known as CH here at CSUSB. Now, here is just the entrance of the building. We have nice vending machines and a nice courtyard here for everyone in case you want to, like, um, you know, have a talk with someone, have a drink, um, and do maybe homework because it's more private and the weather's so nice here at CSUSB during the fall. Now, here to the right is the Office of Graduate Studies. This is such a fundamental resource for the building, and we're gonna get more into it in just a moment. Notice that this is not an entrance, so don't go in there. And over here is the actual main door to Chaparral Hall. This is where the classrooms are at, and the annual funding. We're also gonna get more into that in just a moment. Stay tuned. Okay guys, we're gonna go in now and see what the Office of Graduate Studies and Office of Research has to offer. Hey guys, so I just came back from my advising meeting here at the Office of Graduate Studies and I got all this helpful resource information with my Office of Graduate Studies pamphlet and the Coyote Chronicle. Now, inside this issue is the Path to Torch Meeting of the Minds Research Synthesis, Principal Investigators Receptions, Student Spotlight, and Aluminum Spotlight. Dude, it's an alumni. So here, we won't be much here as undergraduates, but once we do become graduates, we're gonna be in here a lot because this is a helpful resource for us. For us liberal studies majors, if we do the general track, we're gonna be back, be back here again because at that point we're gonna be graduates and we're gonna need helpful resources here at the Office of Graduate Studies. Now, if we do the integrated track, we're gonna graduate with our bachelor's and our teacher teaching credential, so it really won't be here as much, but it's still a helpful resource for all of CSUSB students. Now, as we walk over here, we will keep on going to our classrooms and the annual fund um, office. we call it the playroom it's where we teach acting we teach uh, creative dance um, creative theater in the classroom uh, we have regular dance classes in here jazz and uh, ballet is actually taught over in the Kines lab mm -hmm. right um, so this that's what primarily this space is used for wow. so we have some uh, tables and chairs and things that you would use if you were creating a scene on stage, the class that we just finished, we were doing a lot of movement work, so we just used the floor. Mm -hmm. um, and other than that, it's a regular classroom, right? We have opportunities to lecture, do desk work, that kind of thing as well. And we use it for all of our, all act, many of our acting classes. Sometimes we, we have other spaces we use in the performing arts building as well. <laughs> you don't use that? <laughs> and, the, and the classes that are primarily taught in this classroom are classes for liberal studies and teachers creative drama in the classroom, theater in the classroom, dance in the classroom, and actually music in the classroom is sometimes taught on the other side of that wall, which is the outside, is one of the outside rooms in this building. So that's one of the uses of this space, is thinking about if you're a teacher, you have part of the room that's desk, and then you have part of the, you go outside, or you're in the multi-purpose room, and, right? So how do you transition from one kind of activity to another? So that's another use of the space. Here in the back side of Chaparral Hall, as you guys can see, this is not a classroom. So your first day of school or anything like that, you know, don't be walking in here or anything. But it's the Information Technology Services located in room 137. Now, if you email them or ask for help, they're gonna help you with all your technological needs, such as Blackboard and logging into your My Coyote and stuff like that. Now, as you can see, we have some students um, just having, going through their day here at CSUSB with such nice weather. Let's go, yo! 
Hey guys, so we just came out of the annual fun, and now we're headed over to the music room located in the Chaparral Hall 130. Now, a little bit about the annual fun. There's a committee of about 10 to 15 students that their main focus is fundraising for school, such as programs like athletics, the EOP, and also scholarships, just for our CSUSD students. Um, they're actually hiring right now, and they actually hired about 10 people, but they're still hiring. So, as uh, CSUSD students, that's a great resource for us that we might want to apply to. Now we're going to roll over to the music room. Welcome to the general music classroom. Come on in into the instrument room. So in the instrument room, we have mostly percussion instruments. Some of them are pitched instruments. So if we were to strike these, uh, these all have specific pitches on them. And so these are percussion instruments, but they're pitched. So there's pitched and there's non-pitched instruments. So some are our drums, our tambourines, uh, sand blocks, maracas, rhythm sticks, um, jingle bells, lots of different things for students to make noise and experience rhythm and sound. Um, as, they, as they get a little more experience with music, then they'll move to something that's maybe a more pitched instrument. So they'll learn rhythms, they'll learn melodies, and then they'll learn things that have, they'll learn letter names and they'll get to be able to play. something that has pitch to it. So these are our pitched instruments, the textbook resources. Um, there are lesson plan resources for music from kindergarten through fifth grade, tennis balls for motion, bean bags to use, um, and uh, a whole series of keyboard instruments for students that would learn how to play piano, beginning piano. Then in the classroom itself, this is not a real well-organized space, but uh, in the classroom itself, uh, there's instructional area. There are bigger keyboards um, that are here, and then also on the other side of the room for students to be in the keyboard area to learn how to use the keyboard. There is uh, a series of whiteboards that have musical staffs for instructional purposes, both for student use and for teacher use. There is uh, piano, uh, so you can stand up piano, upright piano for musical accompaniment. You'll notice that around the room, um, there are visual aids used from different projects um, that the students might go through, and then also a um, resource for music notation and learning dynamics and rhythm and what, what each thing on the page means. So there are resources there uh, for the students just to be oriented visually to that world. Uh, and that pretty much is it for the, for the Music 370 classroom. So guys, that's all you guys need to know about the Chaparral Hall. We have went over the Office of Graduate Studies, the Annual Fund, and also that very important music.